Hey guys, this is Dan L from Hidden Bigfoot's Research Lab. My power is out right now, so I got nothing better to do, so I figured why not make a video. I actually need to do this because earlier tonight, I grabbed my handle to open the door and it came right off. I actually had an extra handle put up. These handles, they're real cheap. They're like five bucks, maybe less. If I wanted to, I wanted to show you. You see that number there? that tells you your your key combination because there's believe it or not there's only so many patterns to a key like see these aren't the keys to it but there's only so many cuts and so what they do is they number each combination to each key let's say i wanted the front door and back door to have the same key i would buy this handle and i would make sure and get that code twice and then that key will fit anything or, and then that key will fit the same lock it's that simple to match your locks in your house but since we ain't got anything better to do let's go ahead and work on this i'm just gonna cut this open and this comes with all new guts that i'm not gonna use i may replace that but i don't need to replace the latch on the frame I'm only going to replace the important parts that I have to replace. But now if this was a blank door, I would need it for all of it. But considering I'm just replacing what's broke, it's not a big deal. You see here's the, there's the screws. The keys. The new latch for the door, if I was going to use it, it would go right there. I'm only going to use these parts right here. All you need to, to normally replace one of these is just a screwdriver, which I have right here. And slide that out of the lock mechanism make sure and pay attention to which way you want your your key to go in because when you put the new handle in if you want your key up you would put it up if you want your key down you would put it down to remove the latch from the door this is old so I will go ahead and replace it still just a screwdriver but see it's into the actual outside ledge And see these screws are a little bit different since they screw into the wood. You see they're real short and coarse where these are these are the handle screws. They're real long with a fine thread. And then you slide the tongue out. Sometimes it does get stuck. And make sure and put your tongue the way of the latch. Because when it closes, you want it to be able to push in. If it was backwards, it would just hit. And we don't want that. I have had to put in longer screws or even take wood putty. Fill these holes up. And then re-screw them or re-drill them out. Especially on like older doors. Right, tighten that up. Get it nice and straight. And you don't want to overdo it because you, you don't want to strip it on accident. That one's in good and snug. New handles normally come with instructions. And if you had to cut it out, it actually comes with in-depth templates. But we're not needing any of that. And when you put this together, pay attention to where you're your lock mechanism is because it'll just spin I like my I like my key template to go into the lock with the keys down that means I gotta put the lock up here's the junk one when you feed this through 
you want to feed it through the old mechanisms just like that see it works the actual handle slide that through okay now you need the the two longer screws that came in your or your handle assembly sometimes lining up these screw holes can be a pain there. tighten them up evenly you may even check your handle and make sure it's working before you tighten it down completely make sure it's not jamming Tighten that up, make sure it works, make sure the lock works, check your key, which which is working. Alright guys, and that's how you replace a door handle. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and check out my other videos for other household tips, repairs, how to work on your car, stuff like that. And you'll be safe out there. Laters.